So we, we picked up Young Terrorist number one this week, written by Matt Pizzolo, uh, the artist. Amanke Nahupan? Nahupan? <laughs> <laughs> These names, man. This is uh, tough to say. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so this book, and I, while I was traveling, I was, I was in New York City, and I mentioned to you, I, because I was there, I walked into the Midtown Comics in Times Square. Who gave us like a, a shout out on their blog, right? No, was that, that was Multiversity that? Comics did. Shit. <laughs> giving wrong people credit here so I, I walked in not knowing i hadn't looked read into young terrace other than to know that we read the preview we decided we were going to read it and they had it sitting out front and the first thing i noticed was the seven dollar price tag yeah and i was like whoa like are indie publishers like bumping up prices or what's happening here and then i went to pick it up to check it out and it's like a full book yep. <laughs> like, yeah 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 like, ad free too so like it was 80 like some pages uh, seven dollars, which and only because I wasn't expecting it, it was it almost felt like a chore to have to read that, knowing yeah. that we were going to be talking about it. But I, and I did get to read it on the plane, and I because I gave Alish Cott and an image such such praise for le- releasing that mega sized issue of Wolf Number One in the same vein. You get a lot of comic for seven bucks, so if you I definitely do, if you were interested in this book and the and the creators and Black Mask, I mean, this is. Uh, Without even reviewing the story, which we will hear in a second, uh, it's it's worth picking up. I mean, it's it's an indie publisher. You could check yep. out some new stuff, and you're not you don't just get the twenty pages and put it down. You've got a full first issue here of of eighty pages of story of of art. So it's I think it's even just before you even get into the meat of the issue, it, it's worth checking out. I think so definitely. Uh, and when I you know because I was concerned because. Um... We can never go home. was was pretty scarce in the stores that I was not going to be able to pick it up because I was uh, Wednesday couldn't couldn't make it out there. Uh, so I was kind of surfing the web, figuring out could I get this online? And you know, a, as you know, it was hard to find it there too. When I saw on the Black Mask website that it was like seven or eight bucks, I was like, what? Did you buy it but digitally or in store? I got it in the store, homie. Okay. Um, and uh, it's funny too because I I saw Ashley when I was in there, and I go, do you have this book? And and she was like, yes, we actually do. And it's uh, it, but it, it it's bagged. If you get it live in concert, uh, and she goes, I, I got one too because I was wondering, you know, why is it bagged up? And I said, Why is it? And she goes, I don't know. I haven't read it yet. <laughs> but, <laughs> I was like, Well, you're a lot of help. But anyway, sorry, Ashley. But um, I liked it. I really did. I, it, again, because we 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 just really crapped on the We Can Never Go Home books. It was mega hyped. This one was not as hyped. I don't think. Super dark, and you kind of got three different storylines. I guess you got two little mini arcs that kind of um, allowed two of the main characters to develop, and then they sort of reconnected in the, in the third act. I thought it was really cool. Definitely dark. Again, you got your your share of, of penis, if you're into it, and sex, which, yeah, hey, man. Lots hey. of – you see why it was bagged. There's there's uh, some nudity, some, a lot of – A lot of violence. A lot of violence. So, yeah, it's you don't want kids flipping through this thing. And then the the whole – and this is in the description too. A lot of conspiracy theory and what's really going on. And uh, yeah, hey, what is going on? Uh, but yeah, it's cool. I, I'm wondering and I haven't looked into it if it's go- – all these issues are going to be this large or, or or what the deal is. And again, I think – No. Okay, they're not going to be? No, I read the uh, – the, so the writer has a, a letter at the end that says – you know, I appreciate everyone taking the time to let us introduce this story in like a long form kind of view. You know, don't fret. Like we're back next next month with a like a regular sized comic. So it'll continue yeah. on as a regular comic. And this this first issue was just a way for them to properly open the story. Yeah, which I don't think you could have gotten away with um, a 22 page book. No, not at all. There's yes. a lot. There's a lot here. Yeah. So um, that being said, would you stick around for sure? I think I would. Yeah. I think there's. I, yeah. It's a. It's a interesting type of story that with some characters that are worth following. Yeah. There's a. There's a lot of back story we can get into, and I'm interested to see how they carry it into a a shorter 22 page type of story. Like if they only focus on one character for that page, and maybe just maybe there's just a, maybe there's just one page of a second character because there's a lot to. There's, we got a lot at the surface here, and I think to mix in all these characters in just 22 pages would be tough. So I'm, I'm, I would like to see how they single out some of these and, and move story along. Well, all right then. You're a tough person to please, so there you have it, Black Mask. We are back in. Yeah, and the art's pretty pretty fantastic. And again, and, and and it, I'm and not going to say the name. Wet. <laughs> on, give it a go. They, and they got to be having a good time drawing all the uh, violence and gore, though, because they seem to beef it up. It was pretty like yeah. I was reading on the plane and I bought it digitally from Black Mask. So I had my iPad up and I'm like, 
uh, should I like try to hide this from like people who could see it from my shoulder? <laughs> I might that's be offended. I, that's what I did a couple. Uh, this is an aside here, but a couple of months ago when I went skiing, and you you got me uh, the affair. TV show on Exit Showtime, and that show is rife with sex scenes. And I had to keep watching it, like pressed up against me, like, "Don't let me see. <laughs> this is not straight up porn, people. This is a show." So yeah, I can appreciate having to shield your questionable tastes uh, on a screen on a plane. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I, that's all I'm saying. So way to go, Black Mask. Uh, we're, we're on board for Young Terrorists. <laughs>